okay so this is our third phase of dart programming language uh, in this phase we will discuss about cron uh, control flow structures so before starting this uh, uh, phase i would like to give you a short introduction about dart uh, control flow structures in dart so a control uh, statement is a statement uh, that determines whether other statements will be executed or not so this way that uh, this is a way which helps to achieve our desired requirements by uh, different blocks in the system and their arrangements uh, control statement is a controlled action to take place when settings firing uh, certain conditions so basically there we have total three types of control statements selection statements iteration statements and jump statements uh, in selection statements we have two uh, subtypes uh, named as if and if else and then switch so if and if else is used to determine uh, is if and if else is used to making the decisions in programming language so for example uh, if i want to print the grades uh, by using programming then i will use uh, decision making statements and here i will make decisions uh, according to uh, the percentage so for example uh, if i want to print the if i want to print the a plus grade then i will uh, specify the condition if the percentage is lying in between 8 82 and 90 uh, 90% then it print a 90 a, a plus grade and same as if i want to print a grade then i will specify the condition for a grade so there we have uh, our choice then uh, that we can use to uh, make the condition or uh, make the conditions according to our choice we can uh, make unlimited condition it's up to you that uh, how much conditions you are making so the second type is switch switch is similar to uh, the if and if else statements but uh, in switch we have uh, we use cases so for example the uh, specific part of program will be executed uh, if the specific case is true so for uh, the most common program here uh, we use in switch cases uh, is used uh, is print uh, is print uh, is basically uh, used in calculators so if a user press plus operator then uh, add the statements and if the user uh, plus minus operator uh, if the user uh, click on minus operator then do this so there uh, we, there is same the condition we can use multiple cases so in second type iteration statements so iteration means loops or cycles so loops and uh, loops basically is used to repeat the set of statements up to a specific conditions uh, in loops we have total three types for loop while loop do while loop so these three types have same purpose we uh, these three uh, types of loop are using for same purpose uh, but their syntax is different the most common used uh, and the most popular uh, loop we, which we use in uh, programming language is for loop so for loop is basically uh, very simple in syntax uh, other than the while and do while loop so that's why uh, most of the programmers pre prefer for loop so in jump statement we have total uh, two parts continue and break so for example if i want to print the uh, number from 1 to 100 so if i pre uh, if i want to break the condition at a specific number for example uh, the here, here the conditions were specified 1 to 100 but i want to break the loop uh, at a specific point uh, at a specific uh, number uh, like 50 so i want to break the loop at 50 so i will uh, i will use break statement so it will uh, break the loop and continue statement is used to continue the loop so this is the main introduction about uh, control statements in tar so in upcoming videos we will uh, discuss that how we can use uh, these statements in our dart programming